In this video, I'm going to be looking at the optimal rest period for muscle size and strength. So as you can see, we have Mini Luke and Big Luke. Now, Big Luke is very impatient. As you can see, he's already repping it out. He's on four, five, typical PT, six, seven, and eight. And during that time, Mini Luke doesn't even lift. He's resting far too long and not getting the gains. But Big Luke... Well, Big Luke wants all the gains and he thinks resting is for wimps. So, as you can see, he doesn't have a long rest period and he goes straight into his second set. And during that second set, he only hits one, two, three, and four. So, half the actual reps. So, now forget Big Luke and Little Luke. Let's look at Client A and Client B and crunch some numbers. Client A rests for three minutes, Client B only rests for one minute. Now, client A achieves four sets of 10 on 100 kg, giving them a volume load of 4,000 kilograms. And client B achieved 10, 9, 8, 8 on the same weight and only achieves 3,500 kilograms. So that is 500 kilograms less in volume load. And if you look at this over a session, over a week, over a month, that's going to be quite a massive drop in volume. So get your rest in, achieve higher volume. So now we're going to look at a recent study looking at interset rest periods and enhancing muscle strength and hypertrophy. So this was done by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld and a ton of other people, so I would just say, and others. And what they decided to do, they got 21 young resistance trained men. They were training for more than one year and they split them into two groups. They split them into a group which had one minute rest and a group which had three minute rest. And they went through the exactly the same identical training program. It was an eight week study and they performed three total body workouts per week, which consisted of three sets of eight to 12 repetitions using seven different exercises per session. They assessed at the start their 1RM for bench press as well as back squat and they also chucked in a 50% of their 1RM bench press to failure to assess muscular endurance. So their findings. There was a significant difference based on the rest period for muscular strength and muscular hypertrophy. So when we look at the volume load, we look a little bit more in more detail, we can see that the longer rest period accumulated more volume over that eight week period. The, the average was 51,385 compared to the one minute rest group, which uh, accumulated only 44,755. However, when they run it through the stats, there was no significant difference, but over 6,000 uh, kilograms of pretty significant when you're looking at more of a practical uh, aspect of that. Now, with the muscular endurance test, there was no significant difference. So it didn't matter if they were in the three minute group or the one minute group, there was no significant difference based on the performance. So you may think that the 60 second group would have better muscular endurance because having less rest. However, when we look at their training protocol, they were working in that eight to 12 repetition range, which is known more for the hypertrophy uh, sort of rep continuum. So if they actually trained in a higher repetition range for that rest period, would they have got better muscular endurance? Again, we can only hypothesize that, and that may be another study at another date. So in summary, Longer rest periods show better gains for strength and size, but that's because you're able to accumulate more volume. So the downside for a longer rest period, and most people tend to rest longer than they actually need to. You might be on your phone, checking out Tinder, Facebook, the snap. And what you'll tend to find is that your workouts tend to be a lot longer. So if you compare a power lifter compared to a bodybuilder, they're in the gym a lot longer period of time. So a good rule of thumb is, if you are looking at doing lower reps, higher intensity, to have longer rest periods so you don't get a drop in your performance. And if you're doing higher repetitions, lower weight, you can have less rest because it's not gonna have a negative effect on your performance. And as a byproduct of that, there's not gonna be a drop in volume. However, there are individual differences. There is some research to uh, suggest that females tend to need less recovery time than males but test it out and look at what is an optimal rest period time for you based on it not having a negative effect on the second, third or fourth set. A good uh, gauge on this would probably be a two minute mark. If you are predominantly in that eight to 12 hypertrophy rep range, then two minutes is probably gonna be sufficient to make sure that there's not a negative effect on your subsequent sets. 
So play around with it and see what works best for you. Let me know in the comments section how long you rest in between sets. If you like the video, hit like, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that.